Hey there folks, Graham here, aka Splooty and the Death Ray, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a lyric video using Adobe Premiere Elements. Now this isn't the full subscription Adobe Premiere Pro version, this is the standalone Elements version, which is a one-off payment, either CD or downloadable file, um, and then you can use it with no further payments ongoing. But I digress, this is all about making a lyric video, so without further ado, do let's roll titles and dive straight in hey there folks and welcome back so I've got Adobe Premiere Elements open on my screen and what I've got I've already done is I've imported in the media that I'm going to be using uh, for this project and I've dragged the audio WAV file into the first audio channel on the timeline here. Now, the next thing that I need to do is to set up a keyboard shortcut for inserting timeline markers. In order to do that, I click on Edit, Keyboard Customization, click on Timeline if I can find it, Set Timeline Marker, and then next to where it says Unnumbered, I've put a T in here. Um, I can change that, for example, to a, a U, or I can change it to whatever I want. I use T because it reminds me of a timeline, and then press OK. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is to find roughly in the song, using the timeline marker here, a spot just before your lyrics start, and then you're going to want to play through the song hitting your keyboard shortcut every time you want the lyrics to come in on your lyric video. So I'll just play through the first verse just to show you this and I'll be hitting my T, my keyboard shortcut, um, as and when I want lyrics to come in. So that's the first set of timeline markers in. Fairly simple and straightforward. And as you'll see, I've got a sort of a set of timeline markers here. Now these I can use for entering in my lyrics. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my intro file and I'm going to dump that into the first video lane. And then I'm going to copy that. Um, let me just, there we go, bring that together. Um, I'm going to copy that and line it up with where the lyrics cut in. So I'll just drag that across. So that will now play, if I go back to the start here, you'll see that that will that'll play as the opening to my video up until the point at which the first lyrics come in. What I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna drag my main video, the backdrop, and I'm gonna butt that up next to it. Um, and then I'm going to copy that. If I just bring the timeline marker here, I'm just going to copy that now all the way to the end of the video effectively. So, oops, there we go. Just do that one and then we'll just shave that off to the end of the video. Then as you'll see on my screen, if I just whisk back, you'll see that it'll transition for when the lyrics come and it'll transition from the opening screen to that new background effectively. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is to start inserting lyrics. So in order to do this, I'll go over to text on the right hand side, go to classic titles and general, click on default text, and then drag that, if I just move my screen across a little bit, um, drag that down onto a, a video line, onto video two, next to where you want the first lyric to come in. So you see I'm lining that up with the first lyric. And then I can adjust it also to the length that I want in line with my timeline markers. Now if I go up here, I can then type in my first line, which I know is 
Black Knight. Then I can align that however I want. So using the freehand tool here, this arrow, I can move that and I'm going to roughly move that up to the top up here. Then I'm going to line it up. Then I'm going to change the size of it. So I'm going to change that to about 100. Um, and then I'm going to, again, line that back up. Uh, then over here, if I double click on it, I can look for uh, styles or animation. So I'm going to go with style. And I was looking for one earlier on, which I thought fitted quite well with this video, which was this orca, a sort of like a computer type font. And if I go back to the text, I can then line that back up again. Now you'll see if I play the video through now, um, that that will come in. That'll come in on that first lyric effectively. Now, all I need to do is to repeat that process effectively to enter all my other lyrics in. Now, the trick here is not to copy and paste from the workspace here, but to copy and paste up in the project assets. If you copy this item, then when you change the words in the next box, it'll change the words in the previous one because you've just effectively copied, duplicated the same item. So you need to create a new project asset each time. So if I copy this and then click on paste, I create a new project asset. I can drag that down here and then again, move that in line, double click, highlight that. And I believe the next line is going down the road. And then I can line that up. So if I then play this through, you'll see the lyrics changing for each of those segments of the song. So if we then do the next line, we've got, uh, we can sort of listen to it. So, so fast is the next lyric. So we'll copy and we'll paste and we'll drag that down here. We'll close that up. We'll highlight that. So fast, not so fat. Um, and then we'll click on align to bring that into the center. And then again, we copy, we paste, we drag the new project asset down. We line it up, we double click it, we highlight it, and we type in whatever our lyric is going to be, your head will explode. And again, we can align that. Now, if I play each of those through, you'll see that changing in line with the lyrics. So there we go, effectively that's how simple it is to do and all I would do is now repeat that process all the way through to put the lyrics in wherever I want them. Now if there's then any instrumental sections like for example um, later on in the song there would be a gap where there's like a musical interlude in the middle then I can trim those text boxes so that the text drops off and I haven't got text just sitting on there when there's only music playing but effectively as I say that's how to make a simple lyric video using Adobe Premiere Elements so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish that off and then I shall play you the finished product so I finished entering in all the lyrics for the video. As you'll see on the screen here, I've got all the timeline markers, all the different project assets, as I was describing earlier on, copying and pasting those and dragging them in here at the point at which the lyrics change. And then I've just done a little bit of tidying up, entering in a final text box with a thank you for watching, please subscribe and follow, etc. And then a fade out at the end of the video. So there we go. That's how to make the lyric video. Um, it probably took me about sort of 15 minutes to half hour to create the entire video. It's very simple and it's very effective. So if you've enjoyed this content, please feel free to follow and subscribe for more content in the future. But for now, I shall leave you with the full video and I shall hope to see you again next time here on the channel. Goodbye for now.